It is stated by OpenAI that it is creating a tool to provide creators more control over how their work is utilized in Generative AI. When Media Manager is made available, creators and content owners will be able to specify which of their works should be included in AI research and training as well as identify those works to OpenAI. OpenAI states that as it collaborates with content owners, creators, and regulators to develop a common standard, the tool should be operational by 2025. According to OpenAI's blog post, this will require cutting-edge machine learning research to build a first-ever tool of its kind to help us identify copyrighted text, images, audio, and video across multiple sources and reflect creator preferences. We intend to roll out more options and features in the future. It appears that Media Manager, in whatever form it ends up in, is OpenAI's response to mounting criticism of its AI development methodology, which primarily relies on scraping publicly accessible web data. The most recent eight well-known U.S. newspapers that were involved in the use of generative AI by OpenAI, such as the Chicago Tribune and Orlando Sentinel, filed lawsuits against the company alleging IP infringement. Large volumes of examples, typically from public websites and datasets, are used to train generative AI models, such as OpenAI is, which are the kinds of models that can analyze and generate text, images, videos, and more. Though not everyone agrees, OpenAI and other generative AI vendors contend that their practice of scraping public data and using it for training without paying or even crediting artists is protected by fair use, a legal doctrine that permits the use of copyrighted works to make a secondary creation as long as it's transformative. OpenAI actually made the argument recently that without copyrighted content, it would be impossible to develop practical AI models. However, in an effort to appease critics, OpenAI has permitted artists to opt out of and remove their creations from the datasets that the business uses to train its models for creating images. Website owners can also use the robots to indicate text-to-text, -text, text, standard, which instructs web crawling bots on websites and whether or not their content can be scraped for the purpose of training artificial intelligence models. A few content creators argue that these tools aren't advanced enough. The opt-out process for images offered by OpenAI, which necessitates sending a unique copy of each image to be deleted along with a description, has been criticized by artists as being burdensome. Furthermore, OpenAI's current solutions do not handle situations in which creators' works are quoted, remixed, or reposted on platforms that they do not control, as the company itself admits in the blog post published today. In addition to OpenAI, several other parties are working on developing universal provenance and opt-out mechanisms for generative artificial intelligence. Startup Spawning AI, whose partners include Stability AI, offers an app that identifies and tracks bots' IP addresses to block scraping attempts, and a database where artists can register their works to disallow training. Steg. I, Imitag and the, no I, Watermark Generator, help creators establish ownership of their images by applying watermarks that are imperceptible to the human eye. And Nightshade, a project from the University of Chicago, poisons image data to render it useless or disruptive to AI model training.